Hello, and welcome back to GFC Visions Growing in Friendship with Christ. Today is the 17th of August, and uh, it's, it's a very gray day in Ireland, uh, in Dublin especially. We've had a lot of rain this morning, and uh, it's not coming down at the moment, but it's still very, uh, very damp outside. In the Irish Church, um, we're commemorating the uh, a very special apparition of the Blessed Virgin Mary, which took place back in 1879. In the evening of the 21st of August in 1879, in a very small rural village of Knock County, Mayo, uh, at a, on a very wet night at about 8 p.m., a young girl named Mary Byrne was accompanying the uh, the housekeeper at the local parish church, Mary McLaughlin, on her way home. And uh, as they stopped near the, near the parish church, they saw three figures, three life-size figures, bathed in light near the uh, gable wall of the church. So, they, so she ran home and told her parents. And then very soon thereafter, uh, herself and her parents and a group of about 15 had gathered uh, by the side of this this little parish church there. And the witnesses uh, who were interviewed later uh, stated that they had seen the Blessed Virgin Mary along with St. Joseph, St. John the Evangelist, and uh, as well as uh, a lamb on an altar with a cross and angels hovering over the altar. For nearly two hours, this group, which which fluctuated between two and about nearly as many as 25 people, uh, stood or knelt, gazing at these figures as, as the rain poured down upon them. And uh, they were praying the rosary, uh, although the, uh, the figures, the, the, the Mother of God and, and St. Joseph and St. John were not, uh, did not speak a word to them. It was a, it was a silent apparition. In this vision, uh, Our Lady was described as being utterly beautiful and standing a few feet above the ground. She was wearing a white cloak which was fastened at the neck and she was deep in prayer with her eyes raised heavenward and her hands raised to the shoulders with her palms slightly inclined to her shoulders. St. Joseph was also wearing white robes and he stood at her right side with his head slightly bowed also in prayer. And to her left was St. John the Evangelist, uh, dressed in uh, priestly robes and wearing a bishop's mitre. And some of the visionaries reported that, that he appeared to be preaching and that he held a large book of perhaps of the scriptures in his left hand. And to his left, uh, there was the altar uh, with a pure white lamb on it and the cross standing on the altar behind the Lamb, along with several angels hovering over the altar. So, uh, personally, uh, I've, I've been able to, to visit the shrine well over 30 times in the past 16 years since I came to Ireland. And uh, I must say that uh, I've experienced a lot of peace there, or really. It's a very peaceful place. There have been many healings and uh, associated with uh, with the shrine, and uh, people uh, people come there have been coming there for well, for over 140 years. People have been gathering there and uh, to honor the Blessed Virgin Mary and and Jesus, and to uh, receive the sacraments. Uh, of course, it's a Eucharistic apparition, as much as Our Lady is there, um, along with Joseph and Saint John. Um, the, the lamb is there, and uh, this this came just after a, a period of, of a long uh, suffering in Ireland, the, the famine which which ravaged many parts of this country, and uh, especially hit the hit the west of Ireland pretty hard. So the people were were very destitute and and very uh, you might say downcast, as as they were trying to to pick up the pieces of their lives after this uh, devastating famine which had ravaged through the country. And so our, our Blessed Mother appeared to give them hope in, in, this, in this time of distress and to, to console them. 
And if you want to go a little deeper into the history, the, uh, the parish priest there uh, who, who wanted to console a lot of the families of the people who had died in this famine, because many of his parishioners were, were perishing as a result of the, the lack of food and, and just the uh, poor conditions at the time. He said a hundred masses, a hundred uh, special Gregorian masses for the dead uh, over the course of, of the, the three and a half months which, which immediately preceded this apparition. So when he had said his hundredth mass for the, for the holy souls, it was on that very night that, that our Blessed Mother appeared, almost as a, uh, to confirm, in a way, the, the power of the Mass uh, to, to bring healing and to bring consolation to us uh, on, the, on the journey of life. So we, we, thank, we thank Jesus and Our Lady for, for all the times that they have, they have brought hope to us in, in, in the difficulties that we've experienced during our own lives. Um, whether you are a devout Catholic or just someone who, who is seeking God in your, in your heart and trying your best to live a good life. It's, it's important that, you, that you, you really take to heart the words of Jesus Christ, which he gave to his apostles. He said, I am the bread of life, and whoever, whoever comes to me will never hunger, and whoever believes in me will never thirst. So we thank the Lord for, for giving us his body and blood, soul and divinity in the Eucharist, in the Holy Mass. And we, we pray that our Blessed Mother will give us the grace to purify our hearts and to pray, to pray with her so that we might, we might give glory to God, that we might, like her, give our total yes, our total fiat to Jesus Christ, who is the, uh, the way, the truth, and the life. Um, I'd like to, to begin with the, with the hymn to Our Lady of Knock. Which, uh, which was uh, a very popular hymn um, that uh, sung by a woman named Dana, who's from Derry. This uh, song has been popular over the last however many years, I think 30 years ago, she wrote this song. There were people of all ages gathered round the gate We praise your name. Golden Rose, Queen of Ireland, all my cares and troubles see as I kneel with love before. was unspoken still the truth in silence lies as I gaze upon your vision and the truth I try to find here I stand with John the teacher and with Joseph at your side and I see the Lamb of God on the altar glorified Golden Rose Queen of Ireland All my cares and trouble cease as I kneel with love before you Lady of God, my Queen of Peace, and the Lamb will conquer 
And the woman clothed in the sun will shine her light on everyone. Yes, the Lamb will conquer, and the woman clothed in the sun will shine her light on everyone. Golden cares and trouble cease as I kneel with love before you Lady of Knock my Queen of Peace Lady of Knock my Queen of There's a lovely novena prayer to Our Lady of Knock, which uh, I, I feel it's it's appropriate that uh, that we say this prayer. I'll use this prayer instead of uh, a rosary today. I would love to be able to say a decade of the rosary, but I, I'm trying to keep these videos under 15 minutes. So uh, let's just uh, recite this beautiful novena prayer to Our Lady of Knock. In the name of the Father, and the Son, and the Holy Spirit, amen. Give praise to the Father Almighty, to His Son, Jesus Christ our Lord, to the Spirit who lives in our hearts, both now and forever. Amen. Our Lady of Knock, Queen of Ireland, you gave hope to your people in a time of distress and comforted them in sorrow. You have inspired countless pilgrims to pray with confidence to your divine Son, remembering His promise, Ask and you shall receive, seek and you shall find. Help me to remember that we are all pilgrims on the road to heaven. Fill me with love and concern for my brothers and sisters in Christ, especially those who live with me. Comfort me when I, when I am sick, lonely, or depressed. Teach me how to take part ever more reverently in the Holy Mass. Give me a greater love for Jesus and the Blessed Sacrament. Pray for me now and at the hour of my death. Amen. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world. Have mercy on us. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world. Have mercy on us. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world. Grant us peace. Saint Joseph, chosen by God to be the husband of the Virgin Mary, the protector of the Holy Family, the guardian of the Church, protect all families in their work and recreation and guard us on our journey through life. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world. Have mercy on us. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world. Have mercy on us. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world. Grant us peace. St. John, beloved disciple of the Lord, faithful priest, teacher of the word of God, help us to hunger for the word of God, to be loyal to the Mass, and to love one another. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world. Have mercy on us. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world. Have mercy on us. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world. Grant us peace. Our Lady of Knock, pray for us. Refuge of sinners, pray for us. Queen assumed into heaven, pray for us. Queen of the Holy Rosary, pray for us. Mother of Nazareth, pray for us. Queen of Virgins, pray for us. Help of Christians, pray for us. Health of the sick, pray for us. Queen of Peace, pray for us. Our Lady Queen and Mother, pray for us. Our Lady Mother of the Church, pray for us. Our Lady of Guadalupe, pray for us. Our Lady, health of the sick, pray for us. Give praise to the Father Almighty, to His Son, Jesus Christ, our Lord, to the Spirit who lives in our hearts, both now and forever. Amen. Thank you for, for watching GFC Visions, and I hope and pray that, that this week is a good one for you. We'll just uh, finish with another little hymn. Give me joy in my heart, keep me praising. Give me joy in my heart, I pray. Give me joy in my heart, keep me praising. Keep me praising till the end of day. Sing Hosanna, sing Hosanna.
Hosanna, sing Hosanna to the King of Kings. Sing Hosanna, sing Hosanna, sing Hosanna to the King. Give me love in my heart, keep me serving. Give me love in my heart, I pray. Give me love in my heart, keep me serving. Keep me serving till the end of day. of kings. Sing Hosanna, sing Hosanna, sing Hosanna to the King. Thank you very much for watching GFC Visions. Thank you and God bless you.